Hello, everybody. Welcome. It's been a couple of days. I don't even remember when the last video I made was. Friday. We've we've had a we've had a rough little bit. A lot of stuff going on. Some people close by I've seen it, and some people probably haven't. The things that's been going on around here, so we've just been kind of overwhelmed with different stuff. We've had a couple of deaths in the family, and it wasn't the same. It's two different sides. One of them's adopted family, and the others, you know, family, family. But nonetheless, we're we're getting it. We're getting it all taken care of. That's the main thing. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff been going on. I'm not going to sit here and go through all of it. Just uh, we appreciate the thoughts and prayers. So you could just keep praying for us because we need all we can get. Uh, I've got a little time today because I have been covered up. Uh, trying to make sure everything was taken care of as much as possible. So, uh, yeah. Today, we're going to film a couple of videos. Now, I may just make some shorter ones. I don't know exactly how I'm planning on doing this yet because I really haven't had time to think about it because we've had a lot of other stuff going on and we just it's just a lot going on just just know it's a lot that's I don't I don't really if I get to talk to you one-on-one -on -one, we go over it more that way than I do on the YouTube just we appreciate it appreciate your prayers for us we'll take everyone we can get we ain't particular to, to any one of them just want to thank you for that I'm getting my lock tied out here <clears throat> one thing that we are going to do is we have got to put the rod back on this crank and a lot of people have never done this and they've never seen it it's not it's not complicated rocket surgery but it's not the easiest thing to do either uh, the reason I have this laid out the way I've got it laid out here's the reason the intake is up big bearing there's on this side little bearing on that side here's the piston piston is marked exhaust so it goes like this in the cylinder so the reason I have it laid out is so I can see the pins go to the top the crank the big end bearing goes to the right and that's this is just the way that I do it so I can keep up with it. now this is a 964th Allen hex key we're gonna go ahead and pop the screws over here and on these rods like I said before they only go one way well if you look at the rod there's only one place that has them two dots see they're not on that side they're not on that side and these rods are fractured we're about to dump the screws out they're fractured if I can get it sealed off where you can see they're cracked they're broke they break them here and here they break them with a machine but we're gonna clean them off I'm going to try to keep the grease out of them holes because I'm going to put a little dab of blue Loctite on each one of the screws when I put them together. Because I like a little dab of blue Loctite on there. 
I'm washing everything with brake cleaner right now. And I got the blue lock tied out here. And I don't know what the actual torque spec is on these. I just know they're usually pretty tight, so I just torque torque them to German specs. Anybody that don't know what German specs are, it's good and tight. So yeah. All right, I think, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I think there's 20 some bearings. Just gonna put a, put a smudge of grease up in there. You want it to be a 16th of an inch thick, something like that. You'll see why in a second. For those of you that don't know why I'm doing this, you'll see in a second. For those of you who know why I'm doing it, you know why. All right. We're going to move up cap. We're going to count two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. What I thought. There's two, four, Six, eight, ten, eleven. All right, now what you want to do is we're just going to start setting them in there. That ain't straight to start with. That ain't straight to start with. But I'm just basically just dropping them up in there and scooch them in. I don't really get particular about them till I start getting a couple in there because if you push them, if you push them around a the whole lot, it wipes your grease off. And I don't want wiping my grease off. I want my grease to stay in there where I put it. So you just kind of drop them in there, smear them up in there. This is not the easiest thing to do. It can be complicated, especially on the Big Macs where you have to uh, put them down in there and, and other stuff. You have to put it all together at one time. It can be a real chore. But the reason I count them out is because you want to put half of them on one side and half of them on the other side. And it's easier if you count them than trying to guess. I mean, just a little bit more. Let me get just a dab more. My grease tub's getting low. There's half of them. Some people use Vaseline on this. It don't matter to me what you use. I prefer grease. Some people say, well, Vaseline does something different or whatever. Vaseline's petroleum jelly. That's what grease is. A little different. Somebody will probably say in the comment that it's different. It's a little different, but it's not much different. Well, what the heck on there? The main thing is getting them all set down in there without dropping them on the table or, excuse me, dropping them off the table. Don't matter if you drop them on the table, it's when you drop them off the table is when things get interesting. Because then you have to start hunting them. And if you don't have a, 
a bunch of them around like I do, you don't want to be losing them. I've got some extra ones, so if we was to happen to drop one and couldn't find it, I'd just go get another and put in it, but that's not the best thing to do, but it is possible. All right, now, now I'm going to wipe my fingers off, I'm going to get the, the lock it tight, and I'm going to put a, I'm going to put a little lock tight on each screw because it's going to, it's going to run off our own thing. All right, so. piston needs to go this way pins on the intake side face up oh excuse me I was wrong because I'm going to set the crank in it and when I flip it up the piston will be the right way now this can be the cumbersome part right here you have to set this thing down on here without knocking your bearings out And if you turn the crank while you got it up there, sometimes it'll rotate the bearings out the other side. So I got that set on there. I'm gonna take a little piece of paper towel and wipe the grease off where that cap sets. These are pretty close. They're pretty good. All right, now right here is the, the dot. Right here is the dot. So we're going to take this dot and this dot, and we're going to flip them right over and try to set it right down on there, just like that. And I managed to do it without dropping a bearing, so hallelujah. Got a little bit of Loctite on each one of these screws. We'll set them in there. Run her down. There we got it. So I'm just gonna give it with this with this uh, T handle. It takes a pretty good twisting to get them tight. I'm just gonna twist it a couple of times. Work it out of there. That's how you put the crank back on, or the piston back on the crank, the rod on the crank. All right. Just remember, whenever you lay it out like this, big holes on this side, big bearings on this side, the pins need to be pointed up because the intake's right here. And it says EX right here, which means exhaust side, which is down. So, and, and, and make sure you line them two pins up. Because if you don't line them two pins up, there and there, then the way this rod's fractured, see it, whenever you put it together, you see these two little slots, that's where they fracture them. Well, you can tell that you can't, you cannot see the crack. And if you put them together wrong, you'll see the crack. So just keep an eye out on that stuff. All right. I think I'm going to call this video at that. And I'm going to go ahead and upload this video and send it out. And we're going to start doing a little porting on it. See, the only bad thing really about this is I had to put the rod back on. So I can put it in here and get the timing numbers. Then I have to take it back apart and cut the piston. But nonetheless, we're going to do it anyway. All right. 
Y'all have a good day. Stay safe. Be kind. Treat each other the way you want to be treated, and I mean that. And make the world a better place. Remember, Jesus loves you. All right, Bill Hopper out.